On the table, it is all about Mega Constructs Breakout Beasts, Series 2 and Series 1. I've had Series 1 standing by so long, Series 2 is already here. Now I've got to break them both out. I almost broke into them myself. Thanks for waiting for me, Squirrel. I don't want to dawdle too much in the past. Let's just go right to Series 2. And away we go! The Breakout Beasts Series 2 looks to be in a green egg. I'm counting nine Breakout Beasts around the seal. What could possibly be in this prehistoric brick egg? There is a strange code going on the bottom of these. I'm not sure if it helps you find a Breakout Beast. The first egg I'm going to dig out would be 278865TC. Let's break out this beast by first removing the outer layer. And looks to be another layer. And now we may finally break out the beast. Kind of a gooey pack. Very ice-like. Must have found something ice to see you. Inside we have a quick guide on how to construct your breakout beast. This looks like Frost Snarl, possibly. Interesting. Hi, Frost Snarl. Nice to meet you. Let's see you closer, Frost Snarl. Very easy. Frost Snarl is looking to be needed to be pieced together. What a fantastically slimy idea. Oh, it's so cold. I love the cold feel of slime. So now we gotta like rescue all these pieces out. I think what I'm going to do is just keep rescuing pieces. Luckily, this type of slime stuff usually just kind of comes right off. It kind of wants to stay slimed together. Eww. Frost Snarl's head. Ooh, this is a nice piece right here. It's kind of like a cool ram skull. One of these years they need to do this in jello so we could just eat it. But once again, why do I always talk about eating this stuff? It's so wrong. Never, ever put this stuff in your mouth, ever. These little pieces are kind of tricky. They're way deep inside. Okay, I think I've got everything. Oh, this is some of the best blue slime I've seen in a while. Oh, there's maybe one more? One more, oh, a clear acrylic rod hidden inside. I would never have seen that. That's what's cool about acrylic rods. You can never see them. So now, officially, I think I've got everything out of this really awesome, oh no, I put something back in. Get over there. Really nice blue slime. This piece actually will be the hardest piece. I've noticed it's like really embedded in there, the slime. It's just gonna dry, I imagine, maybe form a glue or something, so I guess we can now store our slime in the egg. That looks so cool. That is so awesome. And now we just have to construct Frost Snarl. And we have constructed my first breakout beast. Frost Snarl! Kind of a fun and interesting build. The plastic on these is a little bit softer than I'm normally seeing with a buildable construction toy. Good, easy working ball joints for popping in and out. Looks like we can display on top of our egg as well. We can now place Frost Snarl up on top of the egg, on top of this acrylic rod. And we'll hover in the air on top of the egg. What a cool dragon to start with. What's really odd in my situation, why do I always get the frost dragon first? Here is my dragon's X-Fire Ice Dragon. You can see they're very similar in scale. 
The Moose Treasure X Dragon, also another fun dig. So an interesting start for me in Breakout Beasts Series 2. Let's slime out another one. And our second egg. This egg has the number 284870TC underneath it. Who is this? Green this time. Little bit of yellow in there as well. It's either Ravagor or maybe Brimer. According to our instructions, Ravagor. Very interesting. Let's break out Ravagor. This absolutely has to be the best part, tearing these packs open. Ugh. Now we've got fantastic lime green jello slime. Guess these packs are pretty much going to be thrown out, but you store the slime in the egg when you're done. Ooh. Okay, now I gotta start digging for pieces again. Oh, look at that cool fist piece. Wow. Remove that Skull slime, it really gets stuck inside the jaw. Jaw slime. Once again, looks very tasty, but it's not. Nice two color piece here, green and yellow. There's that acrylic rod again. Okay, I think. I have slimed out everything I need to slime out. Kind of see if there's anything else in there. Kind of clean off the slime from my hands. Drop in. So real quick, I'm gonna take these pieces out, especially the head piece. It gets a lot of slime in there. Everything else is looking fairly clean, although look, more slime, more slime. Again, just use it to clean up and you should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna clean these and then we're gonna build Ravagor. And it's Ravagor breaking out. I think I'm getting a little more used to the builds, making sure the torso's in the right direction. Ravagor is looking ultra green and mean with a lot of scaly fins. Looks like a possible riding saddle up top too. Very interesting. Love these fists. Very dominant. Now I'm looking for a piece. I don't think I have a plate with this one. I'm missing the plate that would hold him up on top of the egg with the rod. Unless it is stuck somewhere and I'm not seeing it. So I'm not going to be able to stick him up on top of the egg, unfortunately. Also, real quick, these eggs are resealable. Just make sure you get them. Blech. Oh my goodness. Blech. Get off. Just make sure they fit. It's like a puzzle piece and I'm having a horrible time getting the piece too. There we go. I think we got it. Ah, perfect. A perfect fit. But unfortunately, I don't have a post to hold him up, but still a very fantastic looking breakout beast. Let's go back in time and look at series one. I can't believe I missed series one. The code on the bottom of this egg, 268805TC. Looks like we have something in the blue category again, the blue slime. And we have found a Tempest. Okay, looking pretty yucky. Well, it looks like the slime is okay after being slimed in for a few months. Let's start removing out some of these pieces.
All right. I think we've uncovered everything this time. Going to do a quick cleanup on the torso piece again. I can never get the stuff out of the torso pieces, so, and the heads. So let's clean those up. I think everything else is pretty free of the slime. And a Tempest out of break. Very, very nice. Very intimidating. Looks like for Series 1 there were only five Breakout Beasts to collect. Four of them would have been common, like Tempest. And then Blackheart would have been the rare. Almost Dragon Orc-like, I suppose. And again, really good mobility on all those ball joints. You can really pursue these guys in many different directions. Well, let's check out one more Series 1 character. This egg, 269806TC. I have a feeling this must be Iron Claw. And it is Iron Claw. Woohoo! Let's break him out. Ugh, slimy chain. That's really the best part, isn't it? How are we gonna get the slime off this chain, though? That's gonna go in the sink. It's kinda nice to make a pile that you think, oh, I think I don't need to clean them off, and then make a sink pile, those torsos. I think I got them all out. Yikes. It's like misbehaving toothpaste. Let's clean these up and then build away. Easily my favorite breakout beast of the day so far, Iron Claw. This armored wolf is really showing off. Armor going around the shoulders, hips, fantastic scratched up face sculpt, blue nose, fantastic fluffy tail. Can't believe this amazing beast's egg was just sitting nearby my desk for the last few months. Glad to finally get to know Series 1 a little bit. Looks like my other Series 1 egg though is just another repeat. If these codes test out, this would be another Iron Claw, so I think I'll just hold off on this one, and we'll move back to Series 2. So one more Series 2 egg to show off. The number on the bottom of this egg, 278864TC. So one number under Frost Snarl from the start of this review. Really curious who's inside. Here we go. And we unseal. Ooh, this is kind of a different slime. It looks almost metallic. Blue bag with a metallic slime. Who could this be? Any guesses? Let's check our guide. Whoa. Clobber claw. Wow. That is interesting. So cool. A silver dragon. Nice to finish off on a dragon too. And to break out the beast. Ooh. I don't think I've ever played with silver metallic -y gray slime. Look at this. It's like the T-1000. That looks nothing like me. By the way, have you seen John Connor? Uh, no. Okay then. 
T1000, everybody. Okay, let's unslime Clobber Claw. These wings are pretty neat. This is kind of my first full scale dragon wing. Very rubbery and flappy. I like that. This one's actually a little difficult to work with because the slime color is so close to the color of the plastic, it's hard to see it. Looks like I'm gonna need to do another torso wash. Torso wash on aisle five. I don't know why I would say aisle five, but there we go. The heads always have slime inside. Oh, that's got to feel good. Very nice head sculpt too, by the way. That's the most dragon I've seen so far. Underside of torso, or is that the upper side? Got a big wing. Oh, it looks like the wing is actually on a joint. Very cool. There are a lot of miniature spikes and horns in this one. You really gotta feel around the goo. Another one. I think I got everything. Oh, no. Another one. Okay, now I certainly should have everything. Good thing we have instructions, we'll figure that out as we go. Probably the funnest slime of the day though, the silver, gray, shiny slime. Okay, I've got a few pieces to wash, maybe this one too. And then we'll start building. Oh, this guy's barfing up slime all over the table. And we finish very strong with Clobber Claw. What an impressive steel-like looking dragon. Spikies going everywhere. Little fold up on the wing there, but still very impressive. The wings are up on hinges, but they kind of want to flop back down. Pretty fun build, challenging to get him out of the slime. I would say I did pretty good on mystery picking from series two. Clopper Claw was amazing, Frostnarl was a great snart, and Ravagor was certainly very interesting. Several others in there, another ice-like one with Ice Blaze, Spitfire, Repulsor, Griff Force. I'd like to find Griff Force. I like the beasts that are not always dragons. And guess what? I found Ravagor's display stand. It was deep inside the ripped open bag inside the egg, so make sure when you're emptying the slime out you get all the pieces. So glad I finally got to break these out. Sorry it took so long. I'm hoping these codes that I got today are good to share. I'm going to try to use them again next time I go to the store and maybe pick up a couple more with a different number code. Also, not to completely forget, one of the novelties of these are mixing and matching. It's looking like many of these ball joints on these characters are a standard size. So after picking up a few of these, you can start creating your own crazy Breakout Beast creations. We squirrels like to mix and match all the time. I don't know, mix and match squirrels. I think I'll just stick with Breakout Beasts. Mega Constructs Breakout Beasts Series 2 arrives on store shelves February 2019. They run approximately $9.99 per egg, although I've seen them as low as $6.99 on sale. Breakout Beasts, a wonderfully slimy mystery reveal toy with many epic characters to look for. Fun with resealable slime in the eggs. Break out the beasts in slime, break them back down into the slime, throw them in the egg, do it again. Just be careful not to build these on Uncle Ty's precious bearskin rug. Other than that, they are amazing fun. That's what I have to say about that. Break out squirrels inside every tree acorn. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.